Welcome to Mac Related Things. I'm your host, Jim Fair. Mac Related Things at gmail.com. I just wanted to put out a quick video on Mac OS Big Sur. Is it time to upgrade yet at version 11.3.1? And I think for the majority of users, it might just be a good time to upgrade. Uh, I'm seeing a lot less issues with this particular version of Big Sur. Now that said, there are still going to be issues, so don't get me wrong there. Uh, you know, if you're using software that isn't compatible, well, you know, that's not going to have changed. You need to check with the developers of all your major software packages. Make sure everything that you need in your day-to-day -day life is up to date and supported under Mac OS Big Sur. And the security in Big Sur is more of a pain than it was in Catalina, which was more of a pain than it was in Mojave, which was more of a pain than it was, you know, in whatever came before Mojave. His name escapes me. Hi, Sierra. So, you know, as you move up the list of Mac OS uh, operating systems, sorry about the, the noise, it's spring here and... Uh, Canadians tend to do their remodeling in the spring, so there's always some power tool going or lawn mower or something going on. Anyway, um, and of course, if you have one of the new uh, Apple Silicon Macs, you're forced to use Big Sur because it's only compiled, you know, th there's no other operating system version being offered on that hardware. And uh, if you need to reset uh, Big Sur back to factory, watch my video on that if you have one of those Apple Silicon machines because the old rules completely do not apply. Everything is totally different under uh, the new Apple Silicon. And very, very similar at the same time. So, so anyway, I just want to put it out there that if, uh, you know, you're afraid to upgrade because of compatibility. Well, you know, you could still wait longer. Uh, I won't lie to you, there are still some issues. Um, you know, even regular software like Microsoft Office, I find Outlook, I have to rebuild its database or delete it all and start again quite frequently. Uh, and that's on the latest version of Outlook, uh, version 16.49. So they're still having some teething problems with uh, Big Sur. Uh, there are some issues with various Adobe products, but nothing showstopper that I can see. Uh, if that said, if you're shooting tethered, uh, you may, may want to make sure that your hardware and software are fully compatible with Big Sur before you upgrade. And have a good backup, for goodness sakes. Don't just upgrade because Apple's reminder hits you once a day, oh, you should upgrade. It's like, yeah, that path can lead to disaster. So um, if you have upgraded and you want to downgrade, well, I have several videos on the topic. So anyway, uh, that's my update on Mac OS Big Sur. Mac OS 11.3.1 is the current version. Uh, I'm using it on my work laptop, which is a MacBook Pro 15 inch, circa 2018. I'm also testing a uh, Mac Mini with Apple M1 silicon. I also have a 2014 MacBook Air to test with and a 2013 Mac Pro, the cylinder Mac Pro to test with. So all of these different pieces of hardware seem to work very well. If you have something older than 2013, 2014, I don't recommend Big Sur. You know, uh, there's always this race between software and hardware, where the software gets more bloated and the hardware speeds up to run it, and the software gets more bloated and so on. And if you leave your hardware the same, you're just getting more and more bloated software until the software runs really, really slow on your old hardware. At some point, you want to stop your upgrading and stick with a particular version of Mac OS that's working for you, whether that be Mojave, um, 
Catalina, High Sierra, whatever it is, um, keeping in mind that security updates for uh, High Sierra have ceased. So you don't really want to be doing a lot of internet connectivity with High Sierra because eventually you're going to get owned by some hacker uh, if you're not careful. Now the odds of that are not uh, bad really. I mean uh, it's very unlikely unless you visit questionable sites but there are always man-in-the-middle attacks and there are known exploits on those older OS's that are not going to be patched so eventually every hacker on the planet is going to have them in their toolkit to deploy and if you happen to be using an older OS that's susceptible well then you could easily be the victim of some sort of a hack right so I find Macs are hacked very very rarely almost never in fact um, at least in my experience uh, in the education field it's very rare um, most of the hacks I see happen on the Windows side and you know most of that is ransomware and it's always due to people not keeping up with their security updates uh, being lazy you know or system administrators that are lazy that don't keep up with their updates or they go on vacation and nobody subs in for them to run security updates and next thing you know something's been compromised like a, an exchange server or something so you know I'm not trying to diss Microsoft in any way uh, they have a lot more threats on their horizon than does Apple uh, and you know even Apple is not infallible and there are things out there that can affect an Apple just as easily as anything else uh, but that's more on the iOS side of things that I find than on the Mac side. The Mac is relatively secure, just the way it's designed uh, and the way everything runs. You know, that said, uh, should you be concerned? Uh, I have a video on, you know, do you need malware protection for the Mac? And I, I don't really think you do, but watch the video if you're not certain. And... Um, that's about all I have to say on Mac OS Big Sur and should you upgrade. You know, maybe now's a good time. Uh, you know, I find I'm using Big Sur almost full time now with a little bit of Catalina sprinkled in there. And once in a while, I'll install High Sierra on something. Uh, but then again, you know, I have multiple machines and not all of them are full production machines that I do my daily work on so this laptop being the exception of course so so anyway that's my take on where we are we are at in terms of stability with Mac OS 11 uh, Big Sur thanks for watching fade out